Some places in the world are simply becoming too dry, while others are becoming too wet as a result of climate change and stress on freshwater sources for drinking and farming. This fact is leading many countries to undertake colossal mega-projects in order to achieve water security and economic growth. From unbelievably long artificial rivers in Afghanistan and Egypt that are designed to turn rigid deserts the size of small states into farms, to incredible new transportation canals in Turkey and France. Why and how are these countries building ultra-expensive artificial rivers and canals. Let's start with the $5.5 billion, 106 kilometer long Saint Nord Europe Canal mega project in North France. The Saint Nord Europe Canal will replace the existing Canal du Nord, part of the Canal Latéral à Loise and a short length of the River Oise. The project began in 2017 and is expected to be completed in 2024 at the most. The new canal will provide a missing link of great importance by connecting the Sam Basin to the Rhine Basin and the main inland waterway network of Europe via the Nord Pas de Calais region. It will extend 106 kilometers from Aubenschul Obach on the Dunkirk Escots waterway to Compagne on the River Oise. The reason this canal is being constructed has to do with the fact that the existing waterways on this route are of limited capacity because barges using this important trade route can carry only between 250 to 650 tons. The new canal will remove this capacity bottleneck by increasing the barges and push tows up to 4,400 tons from the Le Havre to Dunkirk, Benelux, and the Rhine. This will lead the trade traffic via this canal to reach between 15 and 18 million tons per year. Additionally, more land is reserved in particular areas for further extensions in the future. Four multimodal port platforms on the route have been constructed. These logistics hubs will serve the economic development of entire regions, while the canal will also be a source of industrial and drinking water supply and is expected to be a powerful lever for the development of tourism and recreational activities throughout the corridor. So far, nearly 55 million cubic meters of earthworks have been removed. Transit time will be between 15 and 18 hours depending on traffic density. Boats will be allowed to use the waterway, but priority will be given to commercial traffic. The canal features six locks and is 54 meters wide and about 4.5 meters deep, which will allow boats and barges with a max beam of 12 meters, max height of 7 meters, and a max draft of 4 meters to easily and safely sail through it back and forth all year round. Three aqueducts have also been constructed. The Somme Aqueduct will be 1,330 meters long and 25 meters high above the water level of the navigable river Somme. The other two aqueducts will cross over the A29 and A26 motorways, respectively. The canal will also act as a water source for drinking and irrigation. A unique system for water conservation is also being implemented. Okay, now let's head to Asia, to the last country in the world you would expect to be implementing any type of complex and expensive mega projects because it has been at war for more than five years. It is Afghanistan. The Kosh Tapa Canal in Afghanistan is a mind-numbing 285 kilometers long, 152 meters wide, and 8.5 meters deep artificial river in northern Afghanistan that extends from the Amu Darya River, starting in the province of Balkh and finishing through the provinces of Jazjan and Faryab. Approximately half of the canal has been completed and the rest is being built at a rather fast pace in order to tackle the ongoing growing water and food shortages crisis across the country, which sadly has been going from one war to another for many decades, is also under quite harsh sanctions that are gradually causing famine among other serious problems. 
The Afghans are hoping that this colossal water mega project will mitigate the negative effects of climate change that are making large swaths of the country too dry to sustain farming. This canal is bound to provide water to more than one million Afghans while enabling thousands of farmers to return to agriculture. This will be achieved as 55,000 hectares of land are turned into farms with a great focus on grains and wheat. In fact, the country aims to become a wheat exporter by 2028. The project began in March 2022 and is set to be completed in three phases. The first and second phases involve the actual digging of the canal, while the third phase is dedicated to the installation of water irrigation systems and other infrastructure. Amazingly, and despite the endless hardships, sanctions, and lack of funds, hundreds of Afghan engineers were able to conduct precise surveys, environmental impact studies, and other related research and preparations to make this project a reality. More than half of the canal is ready and farms are popping up on both banks while irrigation and drinking water pipelines are and have been laid, providing water to countless villages. To cut costs while maximizing the benefits, the canal's floor and basin are not lined with concrete slabs, which allow water to reach and fill the ground reservoirs for usage during droughts. Bridges for car traffic and railway were also constructed and more will be built as the canal nears completion in 2028. We did a detailed video about this project, so please feel free to check it out. Let's now head to Turkey, where a new canal is being constructed to connect the Black and Mediterranean Seas. The Istanbul New Canal Project is one of the biggest ongoing megaprojects in Turkey. The goal of this immense project is to connect the Black Sea and the Sea of Marmara, which leads to the Aegean Sea and thus the Mediterranean Sea. Some believe that once this canal is completed, it will be just as important as the Suez Canal in Egypt and the Panama Canal. Istanbul Canal will split the current European side of Istanbul, leading to the formation of an island with beaches on the Black Sea, the Sea of Marmara, the New Canal, and the Bosphorus Strait. The goals of the canal are to reduce navigation traffic in the Greater Istanbul Strait and reduce environmental risks, especially the passage of oil tankers, which threatens the marine wealth in the strait and the surrounding environment. It is such a strategic location, more than half of the 50 to 60,000 ships, including about 12,000 oil tankers that carry millions of tons of oil and petrochemicals through the Bosphorus Strait annually, will pass through it every year. The canal was supposed to be completed in late 2023. However, COVID and the Ukraine war, among other reasons, caused several delays. And now it is expected to be fully operational in 2027. The new $10 billion waterway will be about 50 kilometers long, 25 meters deep, and up to 350 meters wide. These dimensions allow the largest ships and submarines to easily sail through it. Let's now head to Africa, where Egypt is building an artificial river that will turn large swaths of its western desert into a green, lush oasis. In recent years, Egypt has significantly expanded its agricultural endeavors by embarking on various large-scale national projects. One such project is the New Delta Project, which involves cultivating a staggering 2.5 million acres of land in the rugged western desert. This project is quite massive and involves the construction of a wastewater treatment plant dubbed Al Hamam Plant, which will be the largest in the world. Two power plants, 500 kilometers of roads, numerous foodstuff related factories, residential areas, and most importantly, a new 170 kilometers long artificial river. The new river will be supplied with a constant flow of water from the new Al Hamam wastewater treatment plant and others in the region, and if needed, groundwater too. It will not be fed water from the River Nile, since most of it is located in an area 100 meters higher than the Nile River. But it will act as a safety measure during emergency floods by absorbing the excess water from the Nile via emergency gates and water lifts. 
Millions of cubic meters of irrigation wastewater from the old delta will be recycled and pumped into the artificial river every day. The project is advancing fast with many sections and facilities already completed. We did a detailed video about this project, so please feel free to check it out. Thank you for watching, and please like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell icon.